Hello, Aquarius. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. I thought I'd do um, a uh, spread for you guys. Uh, it's called the, uh, let me, don't give me the line. It's called the, the Suzanne's SOS spread, okay? And this is for urgent matters. Some of you feel like you have some urgent matters, some questions that you need to have answered. Let's get into it, you know? Um, I pulled the cards. Of course, I haven't looked at them. I don't know what they are. Let's get into it, all right? So we're going to go through this together. The, the first time I'm doing this spread together with you, Aquarius, this is special, all right? Thank you, God, for blessing this reading, uh, giving each and every person who comes to the reading uh, clarity, truth in you, from you, all right? So we've got our first card, which is the one card, um, and this talks about the starting situation, okay? This is where you stand. Um, this also could be associated maybe with your hopes and your fears. So let's see what this is about. All right, our starting situation is the courthouse. Okay, Aquarius. Um, so, of course, this could mean, of, of course, uh, legal, legal matters, paperwork. This also could just be, I heard the runaround, paperwork, paperwork needing to get some paperwork finalized, finished. Um, this also could be plans. Uh, this could be floor plans. This could be anything that have to do with paperwork, um, set rules and structure of the paperwork. Of course, legal, um, needing to get another party's approval, external approval here. Uh, it could have anything to do with child support, um, court cases, it could be small matters like needing to go and get your driver's license or things, different uh, bureaucracies. Uh, I might be pronouncing that incorrectly. Um, different uh, agencies, governmental agencies, wherever you live, wherever you do, you, you have to go and deal with some paperwork. So this is, and, and it's a, it reduces to a five. So it's like um, there could be opposition here or it could just be, um, it could be opposition. It could be competition. It could just be some competing wheels. Okay. Um, something is against it or, um, you're going to have to go up against or, um, yeah, they have to look at your paperwork against or compare something like that Aquarius. Okay. Um, so that is our starting situation. All right. And now we have, um, the two card, which is, this is a fact, whatever this is, um, this will be a fact, a fact of the matter. This is a real situation and it could be unpleasant. Um, let's see the journey. Okay. So the fact of the matter is that you, you may have to take a trip or something is arriving to you or you're arriving or something about a part departing and or arriving. It talks about journey. It talks about car. Some of you are dealing with something to do with your car, something that has wheels. Okay. Most of us don't own trains or some of you could own tractor trailers or something that has wheels, something that goes over the road and has wheels. Maybe you have to do something with this. Okay. There's some legalities in terms of a car. You could be signing paperwork. Some of you could be getting a car. There's travel over the road, something that has wheels. So it wouldn't be a plane. Um, it wouldn't be a boat. Um, so, uh, it wouldn't be a sub a submarine. All right. So, um, something to do with maybe your car. Some of you are going to get a car, trade in a car. You're going to have to travel for this uh, opportunity, for this paperwork. So you're going to get in your car, drive to uh, whatever this is, maybe a courthouse or to some legal hearing or matter. Uh, this, this is what you're you're doing. Some of you could drive for work. You could be a deliverer, courier. Uh, you could serve people. So many different uh, facets here, uh, but something about arriving and departing here um and it's over land it's not underwater over water in the air something about uh something that has wheels okay so um the third card and the third card is here um this is an illusion okay so these are ideas and possibly thoughts um that you need to release or let go um they could also be mistakes so let's see the gift. Okay. Um, 
The gift is sometimes it talks about a new start, reconciliation. Maybe you need to let go of the idea or the illusion of reconciliation, maybe by a, by way of a holiday or by the timing of a holiday, because this card talks about the next holiday too. Maybe it won't happen by the next holiday. Um, maybe you need to release the timing of, of wanting reconciliation. For some of you, you're going to have to release reconciliation. You have to release how it happens. You're going to have to release uh, this person. You have to let it go. If it belongs to you, it will come back. So that's what the illusion is here for some of you. Okay. All right. And now we're going to go to the fourth card, which is here. Um, this talks about the opportunities you have. Okay. So this could be chance and, you know, of course, just opportunities presented to you. Family, family room. So Maybe you're going to get some opportunities in terms of your family. Speak with your family. Talk to your family. Somebody could provide you opportunity, could provide you open door, um, clarity, uh, a leg up, a family room. You also, something, something about secrets, something being held from you. Uh, this could be family money, family home, family estate. We do have someone driving here in terms of family matters. I mean, in terms of court matters, it could have something to do with the family. These are opportunities that's going to present themselves to you, okay? Um, maybe there's something to do with your family. Your family, one of your family members will present you with an opportunity if you speak up. If you are keeping things hidden or secret, then they don't know. Okay. Um, and then the fifth card we have here, um, this is what you should forget. Okay. So, um, this card talks about what you shouldn't rely on. Okay. And maybe an unreachable goal. So let's see. Occupation. Okay. Um, maybe in your, and then we're going to clarify these cards, maybe in your occupation, what I immediately got was some of you are not wanting to put in the work you know, again, overnight success. And it doesn't happen like that all the time. Or if it's not happening as soon or as quickly as possible, you're disinterested, you're dissatisfied, and you're on to the next thing. That is promiscuity. Now, it is not in terms of sex, but it is in, it is in terms of starting things and not finishing. The Chinese proverb defines promiscuity as many starts. So you'll have, you'll start something, something like freelance work, a hobby, you'll monetize a hobby. If it doesn't go, if it doesn't, you know, click like that and you don't have 800, uh, orders or subscribers or whatever, um, then you're, you're done. You're, you don't want to do it. You don't want to put in the work. This is, this talks about perseverance. What you need to do, what you should forget is that, um, you're going to work harder for yourself. If you really want something to work and you're going to put in more man, woman hours, um, then you will put in at the office. The office requires eight to nine hours from you, right? Um, do your job, go home. That is not occupation. Occupation is round the clock. It is you. You are your first employee. Okay. Unless you, you started off with an, an enterprise or maybe you have a large enterprise and it is still a bit daunting or it is, you know, it's, um, laborious. Okay. And you need to think about how you can make changes within your enterprise where some of the work is off of you. You need to delegate. So, um, and we're going to clarify. All right. Cause this is what you should forget. Okay. And now we're going to go to six. Okay. And six is here. Let's see. This is helpful now courtship. Okay. So maybe finding somebody to date, hang out with, will be helpful. It's a good outlet. If you're already in a relationship, then it's a good outlet. It could go into marriage. Courtship talks about dating with purpose and intention. Uh, if you get this deck and you get the book, the book talks about courtship being, um, that these people are dating each other, courting each other, for marriage, not for hookup, not for booty call, not for hangout, not to have somebody to go to a wedding with or 
uh, uh, an event with or uh, a New Year's Eve date. No, this is we have expressed intention that you want to get married. I want to get married and we're trying to figure out if we want to marry each other. Right. So or being a long term related a long-term a relationship you know some of you don't want to get married but you're you're still dating someone to see if you even want to be with them long term right uh, or you're courting them okay so um this is what is helpful now you need to be in a courtship if you're not in a courtship and you know you want to be married and you know you're up in age don't waste any more precious time especially my ladies if you're over 30 years old and you're single unmarried no children uh, no prospects or you're dating people who you know you don't want to marry and they don't want to marry you. You are wasting precious time. Okay. Um, get out of it because it'll end up karmic. It really will. So, um, next we have the seven card. This is not helpful now. Okay. So this is what you should avoid. Um, it's just not what serves you. Okay coffin yeah something that you close shut okay something that was already over and done don't try to have you ever seen anybody really dig up the coffin unless there was you know uh circumstances surrounding that you know um legal circumstances or something of that nature or you see it in the movies but that is a movie but if Something is in a coffin, it is buried, it is under the ground. That's where it needs to be. And for some of you, sometimes this card can talk about relationships being over. If your relationship is over, don't try to go dig it up, you know, um, and revive it. It is dead, it is gone, it is done. Let it go. And also, I just heard for some of you feeling like you don't have prospects, you go digging in your past and you go going through the contacts and you know, hey, big head and all that stuff or whatever. If it's dead and it's, it, leave it where it is. Don't try to revive it, okay? So, because it won't serve you. This is what is not helpful and it's not serving you. So, um, don't try to revive something that is already deceased. That it was a no-go then, it should be a no-go now. And we have the final result Final result here um, in the near future. It could also be approx approx bleh, approximately four weeks, um, depending on your situation, of course. Um, so let's see bad health. Oof. Okay. So, um, we're definitely going to clarify these cards. So the outcome is bad health. All right. So if you don't avoid some of the, avoid this when it's not good for you, if you don't release this, the gift card, this reconciliation, then you're going to go into, you know, maybe a sex only type of connection, or you're going to revive something that, you're going to revive it by way of having sex with somebody or you're going to be in a sex only uh, scenario. I heard STD. I hope none of that happens for my people. Um, but let's see what's going on here. Why is there bad health? Some of you also going to be working yourself into the ground. So make sure you check in on your health. Um, let's see what this is about. All right. So um, let's clarify the courthouse. What is the courthouse? That's the one card. Let's clarify the courthouse. Okay. We have the seven of pentacles. Yeah. Some of you are waiting for court cases to come to fruition to end, resolve, conclusion. You're waiting for that money. You have persevered long enough. You're waiting for the harvest here. It you It is deserving or you are deserving of it. Um, you're not giving up. You understand that there has been no activity in terms of you haven't gotten an offer or um, you're still in litigation, but you know that this money is yours. You deserve it. You have right to it and you're calling it in and also could be have something to do with you needing to go and get the money too. Uh, get the money, go get the money. All right. Let's see. Um, in the two card we have, um, the two is, this is a fact. Okay. Uh, I just want to make sure that I'm on the right side. Of that. Okay. So the two card is needed to travel. Okay. Um, something about a car, um, something that has wheels, um, maybe you're traveling back and forth. Maybe you're trying to get this money so that you can buy a new car, start in a car business, or you're in the car business. What is this about? All right. So what is journey for? This is a fact. This is the, the real situation. Okay. Let's see. 
the nine of swords. Yeah, it's causing you maybe this journey and back and forth or this car or not having a car or needing to get a car. It's causing you a lot of anxiety, uh, maybe some sleepless and restless nights. You're not sure if you're going to be able to do this thing or embark on this new thing. Um, don't manifest negativity. Manifest positivity. Manifest the best result, okay? I think only of positive things, okay? Even at the end of the day, at the end of the day, if it doesn't work out exactly how you thought, maybe you'll get half of what you um what you uh thought would be, or uh, things won't be as uh, stressful, turbulent. Um, take yourself out of that um energy of not having or it's not going to work out for you because uh, that's what you will manifest here. Fear also nine of swords. Maybe it could be fear. Fear of getting a new car, fear of traveling, fear of um, something that's taxing and tiring. I don't know if you drive for work, if you, yeah, if you drive for work or you, you're like delivery or something of that sort, um, get out and stretch. Okay. Something about your health, um, health, blood related issues. Also, um, high blood pressure, cholesterol, something of that nature. Do your exercise, get out, um, bicycle wheels um make sure that you is um make sure that you get out and um get some exercise here also exercise your mind exercise your body something about sitting for a long period of time or yeah on this journey here all right so let's see the third card this is an illusion okay the gift the gift is an illusion what is this about the will of fortune. Um, maybe this person coming back to you again, something about timing because the gift card talks about within the next, uh, holiday we've got, if you're in the States, we've got Christmas and then we have new years. We have, yeah, we have new years. Um, so if you are in, in the will of fortune talks about timing, perfect timing. If you're waiting for somebody to come back towards you and you have timing is a, you know, an element here for you then let it go because it says it's an illusion you know um this will happen however the universe wants it to happen um also um you may be getting some psychic downloads about maybe this reconciliation or somebody wanting to come back to you there could be obstacle in the way so the universe is trying to uh, remove all of those obstacles um, also there is change. There needs to be change here. Something could be ending or it has already ended. You need to rest in the ending here. Understand that this is the full and complete thing. If it, if it's about reconciliation, whatever happened, it happened. It's over. It's done. The will of fortune is, is still turning. Okay. It's turning in your favor. Also, this is an illusion. Um, it's something that you need to release. You, you think that somebody is your soulmate. This is the one. Um, it could have been that they were just in your life for a season. Okay. Season gift. They were in your life for a season and not for a, um, a lifetime. Okay. All right. So now we're going to go to the opportunities you have. All right. The opportunities you have are the family room. You have opportunity to make amends with family also around the holiday season. You got opportunity to see family, travel towards family, get opportunities from family. If you speak up also the opportunities that you have, these two cards wanted to pop out. Yeah. Ace of wands, um, knight of cups, maybe to make amends, to, um, come back together, to give gift, uh, the gift of love, um, to do something again, travel coming up with the ace of wands, uh, to meet up, to throw your hat in the ring. You're up for the challenge, maybe even mediate, mitigate a, a, a family standoff or, or or bring people back together here um especially if there is a standoff in within a family you have the opportunity here you have the opportunity to uh, reignite or ignite uh more uh motivation to come together motivation to find love between uh family members okay uh, something about family and coming coming together maybe you're gonna have everybody meet at a specific place specific time someone's home i don't know um, but opportunity is uh with family also opportunity um so some family member could give you a creative opportunity also especially if you're in business for yourself a family member could 
put you on to opportunity. You should do this. You should do that. Oh, I know a person who does this. I know a person who needs that. Um, they could provide opportunity for you to make more money to get clientele. Okay. Let's see. Um, and then we have number five, what you should forget Aquarius is the occupation. Please clarify that. Uh, what you should forget is that it, it, it doesn't always happen overnight. You, some of you are going to have to put the work in here. What you should forget occupation, um, judgment. Yeah. Forget about it. Um, and this talks about making snap decisions, snap decisions to walk away because it's not happening overnight. Uh, forget uh, what you heard, what you saw on Instagram, TikTok, whatever. Do know that you're going to have to put the work in and that it's going to pay off. Um, there's a popular YouTuber who talks about his start on YouTube. Um, very briefly, he talks about how for three years he showed up to his YouTube channel with um a show that he would do and um you know there was uh slow growth and then it turned steady and then after three and a half years there was this boom this surge just uptick and now he uh, has over a million uh subscribers to youtube and is making millions of dollars so um it wasn't overnight for him he kept showing up to his thing, whatever, you know, his thing, whatever it was. Um, maybe when other people weren't showing up, when he had two people on the, on the uh, live stream with him, when nobody was there, can you do that? Are you made of that Aquarius? If you are, let me know that you're made of that down in the comment section. I want to see some, uh, what is that? The, uh, the strong arms, put some of those uh, muscle arms down there. If you're made of that Aquarius, if you have that tenacity, if you have that wherewithal, if you have that strength to keep showing up to something when it looks like it's not working, but you're really building um, your, your character, your stamina, your work ethic here, Aquarius. So the universe is saying, look, it's not for some of you, it ain't going to be overnight. Okay. And we're not giving it to you overnight because if we would, then you stop. You stop, you take the money and run. You no longer be committed to this occupation. You'll be on to something else, hoping that that would be an overnight success. But what we're trying to institute in you, what we're trying to grow in you, Aquarius, is ethic, work ethic, is hard work being rewarded so that you can tell somebody else so that, so that your story can then, um, you know, be a testimony to someone else. Also, it's a testimony to you. Some of you... See what it is. Some of you just want the result. You don't want the process. Okay. And some of you are so infatuated with the result. Therefore, you can't even see the process of things are a process. Do not be uh, obsessed and infatuated with the result, but be obsessed and infatuated with uh, the process of you continuing of you day in, day out, doing this thing, whether even it's a, your own business or if it's a job, okay? All right, so Aquarius, if you're made of that, if you're strong like that, I want to see some of the, um, the, the muscle arms down there in the comment section. Let me know that this is what you're doing. You're about this life, okay? And you're going to have a story to tell, okay? So, yeah, let me see some of those strong arms down in the comment section because I know my Aquarius is about that. All right. So um, now our next question is uh, not her next card is uh, the sixth card. This is helpful now. So you've got courtship for what is helpful now. What is courtship and why is it helpful for my Aquarius? What is courtship? Some of you are going to get in a courtship with somebody that is going to be helpful and it's going to see the vision. Yeah, the queen of swords. All right. So it's helpful now because some of you know what you want. You have, um, tore down the old paradigm of yourself of just engaging in things and giving yourself so freely to people who have not earned it. Um, and then they take advantage of it. They misuse it, dis disvalue, de devalue it. Um, so now you're at a place of the queen of swords. You understand your worth. You are the executive in your life. Okay. Therefore, every time you meet somebody, you're going to be a extremely honest and upfront about what you're looking for, what you want, what you will tolerate, what you won't. 
Um, you're going to be uh, nice, tactful, um, but at the same time, you're not going to tolerate anything that is an adversary and contrary to what it is you say you want. If you say you want a husband, you're not going to tolerate anyone who says that they're dating around and let's just see where this goes. You're going to say, okay, thank you. Have a good night and move on with your life. You're not going to waste time in it and say, well, yeah, let's see where it goes. And then down the line, two years now, you're all down, all down the tarot card readers trying to figure out why you're in a karmic situation. Come on, guys. Come on. No. No, no, no. All right, so this is helpful now because you've gotten clear on what it is you will tolerate, what you will accept. You are the queen of swords. You speak your truth. You speak your mind. Um, and you're going to get what you want with the queen of swords because she is the executive. She makes the, the decisions here. Um, so our next question is... Um, this is not helpful now. The coffin, you know, some of y'all trying to go dig up old relationships, old people, leave them people in the, in the dirt, leave them in the dirt. Don't dig them up. Leave them right there. If they're not coming for you, don't go for them. If you didn't, if they're not sending for you, don't send for them, honey, leave them. Don't go digging in, in the, go get the Rolodex out and go down. And some of y'all don't know what that is. Um, <laughs> Don't go, um, you know, scrolling through the phone and scrolling through the social media, double tapping old pictures of old people you left in the dirt. Leave them right there. What is the coffin and why is it not helpful for the Aquarius right now? What is the coffin and why is it not helpful? The lovers, because you got something significant coming in, a, a, a new relationship. And it's a choice to to try and go revive something from the dead, okay? Um, also, for some of you, it's just going to be sex only. I'm getting that again think about it Aquarius be very logical about this as I know you are all right let's say you haven't dealt with someone for a while years you know um and then you go digging in the past you know um texting them liking pictures reaching out who has the upper hand in that in that situation they do you came looking for them so if they want to take advantage of the situation and make it sex only, play games with you, give you the runaround, it's fair game. You came looking for this person. You came digging them out of the grave. Leave them where they are because these people deserve that. If they're there in the grave, leave them there, honey. And that could be friends. That could be romantic partners. You're not going to have the upper hand when you go start reaching backwards, okay? Leave them there. All right, so in the final result, I we definitely have to clarify this final result. Bad health. Uh, what is why is the final result bad health for my Aquarius here? Um, some of you gonna you gonna have um it's a bad situation, a bad relationship, maybe with um, a feminine energy, maybe in your home, if not in your home, then they were really in your heart space. Like you in your heart space, you had love for this person. It could be a friend, it could be a family member. Um, they could be in bad health or the relationship is in bad health. Maybe you're realizing that somebody is jealous of you. Somebody doesn't mean you well. Somebody talks about you behind your back. Um, let's see. Uh, why is bad health the final result? Yeah, the devil card. Seven. Oh, some of y'all drinking, smoking. Uh, y'all carrying on like my grandma was saying. Y'all out here carrying on. And it could be, look. I'm going to tell you this. This is what I'm getting. If some of y'all go back to some masculine energy here, if you go back to this person, if you allow them to come back, it's going to be a whole lot of lasciviousness. Might have said that word wrong, but look it up. It's going to be a whole lot of um, this person taking advantage of you, overindulgence, third-party situation, infatuation, sex, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Some, somebody is... Somebody's going to be in bad health because they are engaging in this. Also, this, these two cards together, this, this is somebody who does hard drugs, like illicit drugs. This isn't just weed or, you know, um, and take it an edible, you know, a weed edible. No, this is somebody who is, um, this, you know, you have to go make a transaction for real to get these type of drugs. Um, this is not good. 
And it's coupled with bad health. Woo. Sex only, lots of sex partners. Oh, this is just STD too. That's what I said. I said I didn't, and then I I know it's not gonna be none of my people because you guys are gonna adhere to the warning and stay away from people who are in this energy here. The devil and the seven of cups. The seven of cups specifically talks about someone who is not serious, overindulgent, overindulgent in uh, food, drugs, everything. Everything they do is just over the top. And with the coupled with the devil, not making good choices, bad choices, again, overeating, overindulging, overspending, um, lots of partners, seven of cups. Um, it could be a masculine energy. Some of you need to let go of the idea of reconciling with somebody. It, they could have been a soulmate. You need to let go of the idea of that because it's not for you. With the, uh, with the, um, the lover's, and the coffin card, yeah, it was a significant high level soulmate relationship, but this person wasn't ready because in the lover, sometimes it talks about um, somebody not being the uh, one person is ready, the other person is not, and that's the choice in it, okay? Um, and it talks about one person typically, the feminine energy sees the, div the divinity of the connection, the masculine energy is too focused on the physical. Um, on having sex and how it feels to be with this person, how it feels to be around them and their lips and their butt and their hips and the this and the that. And the feminine is focused on typically in the, uh, with the right or weight, the woman is looking at the angel and the man is looking at the woman. So she's looking at the angel. She understands the, the spiritual component of the relationship and he can't see it for nothing. And, it, and it eventually it comes to him later, especially when he or masculine energy doesn't always have to be he, but when this masculine energy makes the wrong choice, goes in the wrong direction, because when you don't make the right choice in the lovers, it has long lasting repercussions. You think about it. It weighs on you, on you heavily. You can't get over this person. You try to get over them. You can't, you think about them. You want to go back to them. You, you want to text them. You want to see them. You know, it's that type of energy. Even if this person is not showing you that, that is what they're going through, especially if it was a lover's type of connection, okay? It also talks about the woman needing to be tapped into spirituality because she is going to draw the man to that. Some of y'all women ain't tapped into spirituality. You can't draw the man to nothing, and that's why he's too busy looking at your body because that's all you got to offer. Anyway, that's for another conversation another day. I know that ain't none of my queries, though. Um... This has been a read, honey. 32 minutes. I haven't done one of these in a very long time. Um, Aquarius, comment below how this blessed you in any way, okay? What part was for you? Uh, what part wasn't for you? Uh, let me know that you are, you are strong enough to see this occupation through, okay? Uh, put your uh, your strong arms down there. Put your, your muscle-bound arms down in the comment section. So we're going to let the universe know that we're going to see it through. We're persevering. Okay. We understand it's not an, it's not an overnight thing. We're in for the long haul. Okay. So, um, Aquarius, you can go over to the website, book your own reading there. You could ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You could catch me here live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9 30 PM Eastern standard time, 8 30 PM Sunday. Um, Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Also, if you took something from the reading, let the exchange happen. Buy me a coffee. Yep. The link is below. You could buy Elle a coffee. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.